Hey guys, Mark from We Travel Alone, back today to talk about what does it actually cost to be a blogger? What does it cost you in dollars terms per year? What does it cost you? What do you need in equipment? Uh, how do you succeed at blogging? Can you succeed at blogging? Who knows? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. The one thing about blogging is you can't take a college degree in it. You can't, you can do a course in it, but that doesn't guarantee you success. The problem with blogging is that Google, Facebook, Instagram change the goalposts all the time because once they change their algorithm, everything changes. Then you've got to readjust and see what's working. What you did yesterday may not be working tomorrow. So the cost of blogging is a lot of hours in the end. Uh, that is for sure. And it's also... A fair bit of money if you want to end up using top end products. Um, so yeah, so we'll have a look at what some of our main costs are to blog. Our main costs are a little bit higher than some others um, because we use some of the premium products, but you certainly don't have to spend as much money as we do. You can actually get online for a, for a few dollars, but the amount of hours you spend <laughs> will far outweigh anything else that it costs you because basically you're working for nothing. You're working for the love of it at the start. And we did that for a lot of years until we started making some money. So let's take a look at the true cost of blogging at We Travel Alone. Okay, so one of the main expenses that it costs you to blog every year is hosting. So hosting a company will actually put your site on the internet for you. So think of a host as like the frame of your house, and then you live inside that house. Well, our websites live inside of a hosting house. <laughs> That's the easiest way I can think to explain it. Uh, we use a company called WPX, and they're a premium host, so you pay a premium price for that. So we pay somewhere between eight to $900 a year for hosting with these guys, and they host five or six of our websites. Uh, they'll host up to 10 for that price. Um, not all hosts are created equal. You can certainly get way cheaper hosting sometimes from a couple of dollars a month, uh, but you won't get the customer service with it and you certainly won't get the speed that's required to make your website run quickly. So that's one of the big, big, big expenses that we have. Uh, another expense you have is ongoing software or programs that you that you like to use. Uh, one of the dearest ones at the moment, I use a program called uh, Surfer SEO, So, and it is around $600 a year. It's been costing me for the last couple of years. It helps me work out keywords and how to improve our posts to make Google like them more and hopefully get more eyes on them, which then hopefully means more sales through affiliate marketing, etc., which means more income and one step closer to that digital nomad goal. So it costs me around $600 a year. Then we have other programs such as Key Search. So what Key Search does is you can type in, say, a query like teenagers in Melbourne or travel to Melbourne, and it'll tell you how many people are looking up that on Google all around the world, and it'll tell you how many other people are writing about it. So it'll give you a ranking where it thinks it's easy for you to be seen on Google with it or whether it's just too hard. Because as with most things, if you're not on page one or page two with Google, you're not going to be seen. So you want to pick uh, a word to write about that's got high search volume and low competition, which is a lot easier said than done. Because if we could all do that, we'd all be making a million. One of the other costs I have is plugins. So plugins are other programs that you run on your website, there'll be like uh, SEO programs that'll once again tell you if you're doing any good, if you're meeting uh, what they call best practices for keywords, headings, things like that. So they're really that's really just a guide to tell you that um, that you're going in in the right direction. So we use one of the best programs we use is an SEO one called Rank Math. So that then costs you maybe seventy dollars a year to have. Um, there's certainly other ones that you have on board. Um, another expense every year is domain registration. So what's a domain? So a domain is the name of your website. So in our case, it's wildfamilytravel.com or wetravelalone.com or polandtravelexpert.com. 
And every year you have to pay to secure this name because if you don't pay for it, then someone else can steal your name and then your website is not really worth anything. So I pay around $21 Australian a year to secure these names and make sure that no one else can have them. Uh, we also have a handful of other domains that we buy that we haven't turned into websites yet, but if we see one, my wife Rebecca, she loves to buy a domain and just hold on to it just in case one day we will make a website about it. So, But we've got to have time and maybe that time will come when we quit our full-time jobs and become full-time nomads. So that's one of the plans there. So that's one of the big costs associated uh, with running a website well. Look, so what I've told you comes out at around two thousand dollars australian a year is what we're paying but like i said you can certainly do all this way cheaper than what we're doing we're doing it probably at a premium end of the scale um you know when we started we certainly weren't paying this much and start out bloggers certainly can't afford to pay two thousand dollars a month because they're not making any money so you know basically you can do your hosting for a couple of dollars a month if you need be and you can get started from there onwards so besides all them costs, you've got to set yourself up at some stage as well. So this is my office in our shed. So this is my work area here. I have two screens, you know, keyboard, everything set up here. In the middle, we have filing cabinet, printer. Then Rebecca has a workstation over this side for her to use at times when she's down here. We also have laptops inside that we use. Uh, you know, I also have a ton of camera equipment down here, GoPros things like that so it's actually never ending what it costs you depending on what you want to buy like i love the technical equipment so i'm always buying different things see i've got a microphone there you know i've got a gopro i've got drones uh, i've got many different things <laughs> in my bags to try and capture footage so in that retrospect it costs it'll cost you whatever you want to pay so in the end blogging uh is not that cheap <laughs> Like I said, though, it can be as cheap as you want, but like all things, you know, with better equipment, better hosting, better knowledge, um, you know, you certainly become better at making money online to help you become a digital nomad. People often say that you can't do anything well until you spend 10,000 hours doing it. Well, I've certainly spent 10,000 hours blogging. You know, we're at a stage now where we're earning a decent income from blogging, but, you know, it's never over and it, you can always keep learning to do things. I spent an hour this morning watching a webinar on affiliate marketing, which gave me a few more ideas about some things that I'm going to try and uh, introduce to our website in hope for making more sales. So, you know, it's all good in the end. You've got to try, you've got to learn, you've got to buy. And when you buy, then you can succeed. So it was good talking to you all today. Look forward to our next video. I've got a bit of a surprise. I think you'll find that we will have a scooter by the time we go live on a video again. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.